Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Today, let's talk about how to inspect your anode rod in your water heater and maybe replace it. Now you may ask, why do I need to do that? Well, first of all, you have hot water in your water heater tank. And hot water is a little bit corrosive. It will eat up your tank and you leak and you need to get a new water heater. With labor, that could be a few thousand dollars. Now, a anode rod though is a metal that will get corroded first. So because of that, it will partially protect your water tank to slow down the corrosion of your water tank so you can have your water heater for more years to come and save you a lot of money. Now, anode rod again is metal and it's very simple. It's usually magnesium or aluminum because these two metals will get corroded a lot quicker than iron which is usually what your water tank is. And because of that, you should check the status of the anode rod probably every year and if it looks bad, you definitely want to replace it. Uh, these ones I just bought, it's a new one, only cost $20. Your water tank is obviously a lot more expensive than that. So let's get started. Before you do anything, there are a couple of things we need to do. First of all, you need to turn up your water and I actually turn up the main water valve at the whole house. Next, you want to open the tap on a level that's the same level as the water heater or a lower level to release the water. And you want to leave it open until you finish everything. I have a gas heater, so I want to turn up my gas just in case. Also, unplug my electrical connection. Now, we want to release some water from the water tank. Uh, typically, on the lower part, there will be a release valve that you can use your screwdriver to turn it, and water will come out. And you can close it after maybe half a gallon, something like come out. On my water heater, there is a cover here, and you see it actually said angle up here. So I'm gonna try it open, and there is a nut inside. Um, it is typically a 27 millimeter, so you need a pretty big socket. Go onto it. Uh, it's usually rather tight, so it's not a bad idea to have a breaker bar. And I'll go on to it. And then do it counterclockwise. Okay. So that is to break it open. And now we should be able to use a shorter ratchet to take it up. Water may come out if you did not release enough water. If that is the case, go ahead and release more water from the bottom. Oops, that might be the case for me. Some water did come out, but that wasn't that big a deal. So I release more water from the bottom. So maybe you need to release something like two gallon instead of half a gallon. But anyhow, now we should be able to take it out. And you see, it's metal, but it has a lot of deposit on it and they are yellow color okay so let's compare to the new one and see how they look differently this is my old one versus my new one as you can see the old one have a ton of deposit on it it's not really corrosive but because of the deposit cover on it it will not be very effective Another thing you may realize is my long, my new one is a lot longer. As long as it's thick, longer is better. So let's put it back in and see how it goes. So I'm back to my water heater. By the way, if your space is limited, you need to get one that is foldable. This is non-foldable. 
It's cheaper to be a non-foldable, obviously, but my space is big, so I have no problem with that. I will give you a link to Amazon for both types. And for this one, it's about $20. For the foldable one, it's probably $40. So let's put it in. Go all the way. Oh, it's too long. Well, it is too long. By the way, you can cut it shorter when it is too long. So, I am going to cut it shorter. So, I'm going to use a hacksaw to cut it shorter. It's soft metal, so it should be very easy, as you can see. So, I use a hacksaw to cut it shorter. Um, it's soft metal, very easy. Takes about five minutes at most. So, let's put it back in. And now it's good. And now let's tidy it up. Use hang first. Always do hang tie first. And then we can use our ratchet. I don't want to use the breaker bar for sure. Only use it to open it up. Not tidy it back in. You want to tidy it until you feel that it's snug and it's good to go. Okay? Of course, you want to make sure that it doesn't leak out water when you open the water valve. So I think that's good. I'm going to open the water. Don't forget the tap water that you opened just now. Close it, otherwise you waste your water. And of course, we want to put the cap on if everything looks good. So this is how to replace it and of course check it. Uh, very easy. If you think this video is helpful for you, please make sure you like and subscribe and hopefully your water heater for, will last for many years to come. Thank you again. Bye bye.